Hey everybody, my name is Lai and welcome back to my channel, How to Mommy. This is the second part of my postpartum weight loss journey. I will talk about the difference of this the first method na ginawa ko, which one is easier, which one made me lose more weight. If hindi niyo pa napadon yung part 1, I will link it down below on the description box. Please watch it to find out my background, like my history, my lifestyle, my weight before I got pregnant, including all the struggles that I went through because I didn't repeat this video. Na ito. But to summarize, I gave birth last year. That was March of 2018. Around one month ago, January 2019, I started this tuna sandwich challenge. I ate a tuna sandwich for lunch and dinner for 14 days. No February 12, which was my last day of the tuna sandwich challenge, I lost a total of 9 pounds. I know it sounds like it's not that much, but so much of difference in body. Ko. I have before and after photos, and you can see that I have a little bit of my tummy, my arms, ko, and it felt lighter talaga after the two weeks. After the tuna sandwich challenge, I day one kagad ako, starting February 13 for the new... Chicken breast only challenge. I thought I was going to because while I was doing the tuna sandwich challenge, my husband was doing this chicken breast only challenge. Nisha sandwich. Chicken breast only lang talaga. Tapos na notice ko na mas madali siya na lose na weight kasi sa akin. So I joined him na lang. Kasi di ba yung tuna sandwich may siya mayonnaise which is fattening if I'm not mistaken and it also has carbs from the bread. So this time wala na talaga akong carbs kasi chicken breast lang talaga yung kakainin ko for lunch and dinner. So it's a high protein diet. Baka mag carbs ako in between kasi crackers yung usually na snack ko but it's a high protein diet which is actually probably better than a tuna sandwich challenge diba? Pero mas mahirap siya Kasi kailangan mo lutuin yung chicken every day eh. Hindi mo siya pwedeng i-prepare. Mas masalap talaga siya if lutuin mo siya every day. And diba, ayoko sanang magluto kasi wala kami yaya and I don't wanna wash the dishes like the frying pan, the chopping board, the, the knife. Diba, maraming gagawin if kailangan lutuin siya every day. So nagdalawang isip ako at first. But diba, I mentioned that my husband was already doing it. Tapos siya na lang daw yung luluto sa chicken ko. He's gonna be doing it for me. And he fully supports my weight loss journey. So, pumayag na din ako. Pumayag siya. Tapos, sabi ko naman, two weeks lang. And I just wanted to try if I'm really gonna lose more weight. All I can say is that, it's true guys. Mas mabilis talaga ako ng lose ng weight this time. Mas shock talaga ako. During the first few days, I lost one pound per day. Imagine that ha. Grabe na hype talaga ako. Sabi ko, well, one pound per day. I'm gonna do this for two weeks. So by the end of this challenge, I'm gonna lose 14 pounds. I was so excited. Tapos, nagkasakit ako. I got very, very sick guys. Ladies and gentlemen, makinig kayo sa akin. If your immune system is down, if you have pre-existing medical conditions, if buntis kayo, especially ha, if let's say my important events kayo, kailangan i-attend, mga ganun, you have travels to do, you really have to think a lot, think twice, isipin nyo muna, do your own research before following this challenge before following me. Actually, you should ask your doctor. Wag kayo, don't follow anything you see online kaagad. You have to do your own research, listen to your body, ask your doctor. Sinabi ko to sa part 1 na weight loss journey ko. So, this is just an experiment and uh, ginawa ko sa self ko but I really, really listened to my body. Wag naman natin i-blame din kasi yung chicken breast only challenge. Kagad, di ba? Hindi natin alam. Baka it's not really because of it. Baka nabigla lang yung body ko kasi bigla akong hindi na kumain ng carbs at all. Maybe you can try it pero wag nyo biglain yung body nyo. Maybe just 
eat little carbs and then mas little and then no carbs. You know, pang ganun, something like that. Or maybe din naman, hindi talaga siya because of the diet. Maybe it's because of something like nahawa talaga ako sa flu ng somebody else. Ganun, my flu virus, something like that. So, I don't completely blame the chicken breast only challenge. But the truth is, nagkasakit talaga ako. So, what happened to me was, I ate chicken breast lang talaga for lunch and dinner. And then, I was still doing the intermittent fasting, so no breakfast. I started to lose one pound per day, right away. On day one, when I started, I was 120 pounds. On day two, I was 118 pounds. On day three, 117 na lang ako. On day four, I was 116 pounds. Pero on day 4, nagkasakit talaga ako ng super grabe. For at first, it was only sipon, clog nose, parang sore throat, ganon. Pero the next day, parang I had fever na talaga. Nilag na talaga ako and I was very, very weak. Timing then na teething yung baby ko, so irregular yung sleep niya. Kaya kulang din ako sa tulog, gumigising kami sa ano, madaling araw. So I was very, very low on energy. I had to pause for like two days. So, nag-stop kagad yung pag ko ng one pound per day. In fact, I gained it back during the times that I paused the challenge na nag-cheat ako. I gained back some of my weight. And then, sayang no? Pero health is wealth, guys. Health is wealth talaga, especially if you're a mom. Kahit ayoko sana mag-cheat para sa vlog. I had to do it. Kumain ako ng rice, naghanap ako ng carbs, I treated myself with sweets just to feel energized. Parang, um, I really had to look for something to feel better because I was so weak eh. I was very sick and I had to be a mom for my baby. So, I had to cheat and there's nothing wrong with that. It's part of the journey. Kaya nga, I'm very open to this vlog as sinasabi ko talaga lahat. Day 2 ko din kasi, diba? Day 1 is Feb 13. So, day 2 is Feb 14. That was Valentine's Day. And kumain ako konti ng chocolates. And then, Feb 18, na-invite pa kami to a wedding. So, kumain ako ng lechon. Hindi <laughs> ako kumain ng rice, pero kumain ako ng lechon. Tsaka yung dessert nila, which was um, like, uh, mango panda. Ano you ba know, no? Ang daming chippies. So, therefore, sa so 14-day challenge na ito, I'm just being true to myself, true to you guys. Open, transparent. Um, it's a chicken breast only challenge, but I cheated so many times. Imagine I was already 116 pounds sana on day 4. Day 4 ba yun? And then, wala. On day 7, I was 119 pounds only. Sayang, as in super talaga na, na, na discouraged talaga ako. But you know, what's important is that I still finished strong. Tinapos ko pa din. The moment that I felt better, I went back to the strict chicken breast only challenge and then by day 9 kasi I was already okay. Counting sore throat, counting parang tonsillitis at I don't know. I don't really know what was happening to me but it was parang flu and generally my body was weak. Ganun lang siya. Pero yun na nga, naging okay naman ako. It was very manageable na so I continued with the challenge and then I just nag intake na lang ako ng more fruits and of course Baroka every day. Baroka really boosts my immune system and kung may nafeel ako na parang flu coming or when I'm having flu, I'm able to recover easily and quickly and minsan na prevent mo pa nga yung flu if you drink Baroka or probably any vitamin C but me, I prefer Baroka. Once again, my first day was February 13, and my last day was February 28. By the end of the challenge, after 14 days, I lost 6.5 pounds. From 120 pounds, I was 113.5 pounds na lang. I know, I know, sobrang disappointing because this chicken breast only challenge, sana, it was supposed to make me lose more weight than the tuna sandwich challenge, but that's not what happened. Inisip ko kung bakit, and well, you know, there could be various reasons 
number one, obviously, I cheated on a lot of days for this challenge. Nagkasakit ako. I had to drink meds, so I had to eat, and I ate carbs and sweets. Meron ding another theory na baka it's because I never worked out. Iba sa tulad sa challenge, I worked out for two or three times, and then this time, wala talaga zero workout. Wala pa rin akong time. Mas wala akong time this time because I was preparing for my baby's first birthday. So super duper wala ng workout. So it could be any of those reasons. Yeah, that's what happened. Just being honest talaga. You know, maybe I would have lost one pound per day. A total of 14 pounds sana yun ah. Pero hindi nangyari. And I'm really, really curious. If you want me to try this challenge again, yung hindi talaga nang cheat straight 14 days, chicken breast only, comment below so I can plan on doing it again. Yung mas ano ako, mas strong, tsaka hindi ako masyadong dizzy. Pero ano ba yan? Ba tayo nakafocus sa negative, di ba? I still lost weight. 6.5 pounds is still a big deal. Especially if we go way back to January 30th. First day talaga of my weight loss journey. Both part 1 and part 2. I was 129 pounds. And ngayon, I'm only 113.5 pounds. So that's what's that? 15.5 pounds in total, di ba? Tama ba? I hope I'm correct. So I'm still very thankful and very proud sa na-achieve kong ito. Also, ito pa, I can already squeeze into my old jeans as in yung jeans na ginamit ko before I got pregnant. Um, kasha na sa akin ngayon and then when I was looking for a dress for my baby's first birthday, nagkasha na din ako sa size small as in surprise na surprise ako sa dressing room. Kasi nagkasya na sa akin yung size small. And then yung mga clothes na binili ko last year. Kasi nga, diba, sobrang taba ako last year. And bumili ako sa plus size section. Tinabi ko na, inalas ko na from my closet. Tapos itatago ko na for my next pregnancy. Kasi super luwag na talaga. A lot of people noticed that my body changed. And marami ding nagtanong. Kaya I shared the first part of this weight loss challenge. I shared the video on my Facebook page kasi ang daming nagtanong ng mga friends and relatives, yung mga close sa akin, and yung mga nag-try din na mag-lose ng weight. So, I'm very glad na na-help ko sila. Sana ma-help ko din kayo. And right now, update lang. Tapos na yung 14-day challenge ko for the chicken breast only. Pero, um, I, I'm still maintaining the intermittent fasting. I think it's a lifestyle change talaga. IF is gonna be with me for a very long time. Maybe forever. I'm not sure, ha? Because I still miss breakfast. But yeah, I really enjoy doing intermittent fasting. And hindi na din ako nag rice Parang nasana yung body ko eh. And then I try to eat more fruits and healthier snacks and more protein in my diet than carbs. So, pero hindi ko na pinagbabangalan yung self ko. If I have lang talaga the chance, I eat more fish, beef, chicken, mga ganon. Hindi na ako kumakain ng mga fatty or carb na food. In short, ulam lang. So that's it. Sana na-inspire ko kayo guys if you are trying to lose weight. Especially the postpartum moms watching this. If you think na hindi na kayo papayat ulit, just be patient lang talaga. Don't lose hope. It took me 10 months before I started my weight loss journey seriously. It's not a race. Don't pressure yourself trying to get back in shape ASAP. Be patient and know that darating lang talaga yung tamang time for everything. Just wait for your body to be ready. Kailangan unahin talaga natin yung needs ng baby. If you need tips and encouragement, please comment down below. I would love to answer your questions and I would respond talaga to each and every comment, especially if may tanong kayo. Or you can also connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, please share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.